Hi, good morning everyone. Brian Hoops, Midwest Market Solutions with our Market Insider TV for uh, Tuesday morning, April the 10th. Uh, another ex big export sale announcements to talk about. A lot of headlines to go through here this morning. And of course we'll have the monthly supply and demand report coming out at 11 o'clock central time. So a lot of things uh, going on with uh, the overnight trade and then the uh, export announcements and then things will probably be pretty quiet until we get into the supply and demand report. All right, let's look at some headlines from the overnight. Crop conditions out yesterday. Winter wheat declined 2% to 30% good to excellent, lowest since 2002. And uh, trade was looking for about a 1% decline, but yet wheat was down slightly in the overnight. Weather is going to improve for the... Uh, with some moisture and things are going to get warm. So really not a surprise to see the market pull back, but uh, unlikely that it will stay down. Kansas and Oklahoma did actually improve a little bit, but some of the other states saw only 2% done. That is right in line with expectations for corn. S spring wheat should be about 6% seeded for this time of year. So the trade will not react to this. Um, as it's pretty much routine. All right, some big export news here, all in the soybean market, and 279,000 beans to unknown, 132,000 beans to China, and 120,000 metric tons of beans to Argentina. Pretty significant that we're selling into Argentina when they're the world's third largest exporter of soybeans. But uh, the last time we sold soybeans to Argentina was 2008. So it's possible they could be a reseller to China and, um, it's certainly a possibility. So um, these are some pretty big sales here, though, uh, all in the soybean market and certainly is going to provide support for our soybean uh, prices. OK, supply and demand reports coming out at 11 o'clock central time today. Here are the estimates. Um, not many changes expected in the U.S. any stocks there. They will have world production numbers, and that's given some strength in the soybeans overnight as uh, expectations are for a pretty good reduction in the crop size of Argentina corn and soybeans. That's, as I said, given us support overnight. Wheat's down a little bit as we could see some bearish uh, numbers out of uh, the world numbers for for wheat. But again, this report I don't think is going to be real um, long lasting, really shouldn't have much of an impact on the markets as uh, we go forward in uh, trading today. So uh, we'll keep you up to date on, on what's happening with uh, the report through Twitter, text service, and uh, our midday commentaries. Show list numbers for the cattle market larger than last week. Some of the cash trade expectations in the morning yesterday was uh, for steady, but now when these show list numbers came out in the afternoon, I think we're backing off those cash uh, expectations. Probably going to open around steady this morning with a little support from higher uh, stock market, but uh, lower cash is going to weigh on the front month. And uh, hogs had a pretty strong day yesterday. Looked to re, uh, you know, look to rebound on that and, and continue to build off of it. So we'll look for higher hogs during today's session. All right, that's going to wrap it up for us today. Hope you have a great day of trade, everyone. Good luck and good trading. And we hope to talk to you soon. Brian Hoops for Midwest Mark.